Question 27, have a go. Okay, so we've got a right angled triangle. We know two sides and we're trying to work out the length of the third side and there's no reference to any of the other angles. So you've got to spot that this is a Pythagoras question. Now with Pythagoras, we're saying that the length of the two shorter sides squared equals the length of the hypotenuse squared. So 8 squared plus 11 squared equals AC squared. So we write it down like this. 8 squared is 8 times 8 which is 64, 11 squared is 11 11 which is 121, add these together we get 185, so AC squared is 185, how do we then work out AC, well we have to undo the squaring by square rooting, so we have to square root 185, using our calculator we get 13.601 and this rounds to 13.6 to three significant figures. Now for question 28, have a go, So, this time it's a right angled triangle, but there are angles involved. Look, see, there's 40 degrees. So this is a Sokotoa question. So start off by doing a little smiley face down where the angle is, and then label up your three sides accordingly. So this side is opposite you, this side is adjacent to you, and this is the hypotenuse. That's the one opposite the right angle, always. So go and tick the two sides that you either know, which is the hypotenuse, or the question requires you to work out. That's the opposite side. We've ticked O and H, so which of the three ratios are we going to be using is this one. Now you do need to learn these. I've taught you silly old Hitler caused awful havoc to our armies. You can have a different way of doing it if you like. So the sin rule is what we're using. So sin, what comes after sin? It's always the angle. So sin 40 equals our opposite side which is x, divided by our hypotenuse, which is 10. From now onwards, it's just algebra. How do we undo a dividing by 10? We times by 10. Pop this into your calculator, and you get this, which rounds to this to three significant figures.